We're less than an hour away from the kickoff of Berwick Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Streaming online at thisispopradio.com. Brought to you by... Overhead door of Berwick. Berwick Notary, State Farm Insurance, Sean Black and Lori Powell, First Keystone Community Bank, The Willows Golf Course, Journey Bank, Flick Brothers Electric in Bloomsburg, Blaze Alexander Family Buick GMC of Bloomsburg, Berwick Dental Arts, WNL Subaru Nissan and Mazda, Reds Roofing, Preferred Portables, Nespoli Jewelers, Neighborhood Fence, Ken Pollock Ford, Mayo Funeral Home, ND Accounting and Consulting, and Mason's Monogram Service. It's time for the CJ. Curry Show on Pop Radio. Here with the first year head coach of the Berwick Bulldogs is Jim Doyle. Well, tonight a new season and a new era of Berwick football begins as the Bulldogs kick off the 2024 season here at Crispin Field against the Black Knights of Lake Lehman. The game will mark the head coaching debut of C.J. Curry, the grandson of Berwick's legendary coach, the late George Curry. C.J., I guess the most important question will be, is your team ready for tonight's opener? But let's start with you. Are you ready? Well, first off, Mr. Doro, thank you so much for having me on this show. And I really am so proud to carry on this tradition, you know, something that my grandfather did and, and all the coaches after him. And so, you know, I think that I am ready. And, you know, you talk about um, just all the kind of circumstances and the hype that surrounds it. But with all the preparation that we've done since January, it's put me in a much more comfortable position uh, for tonight. You know, I, I haven't slept all week. And I'm sure, you know, I mean, as of tonight, I mean, it's going to be a... Uh, it's, it's certainly going to be, um, the emotions are going to be heavy coming out of that tunnel and coming out of that locker room. You know, where 10 short years ago, I was tapping the wind sign and running out through the fireworks. But I just want to be able to take it all in, in that first, um, that, that first couple minutes and then really lock into what I have to do as a coach and as a play caller to put my guys in the best position to be successful. And so, you know, I would say that I am ready for sure. Uh, you know, I've been waiting for this moment. I've been visualizing this moment since January 4th. I was when I had my first team meeting. And so, um, you know, with that being said, I think that I am ready. And I think that our team is ready, too. Our team's prepared. Um, you know, our team's left no stone unturned, checking out their film times. They've all been watching film. They've all been locked in at practice all week to try to make sure that, you know, they're doing everything that they can to go 1-0, which is our goal every single week is to go 1-0. You didn't rush into this head coaching thing. I mean, you took your time. You worked through the uh, junior high. You're now 29 years old. Uh, what made you think at this point yeah it's a job i want and it's also a job that i'm ready for you know and if we had this conversation probably last year at this time i probably would have had a very different answer for you but something just clicked i think and it's just how the stars align you know when i left here when i left our junior high program to go to sealands grove to coach there it was one of those things in my life that i'd never left berwick you know, I went to uh, college in Wilkes-Barre and East Stroudsburg, and, you know, I was always home. And as soon as I was done with college, I came right back here to coach and teach. And so it was one of those things that I wanted to go out there and see what else was out there for me. And, and during that time, trying to kind of find myself in a different school and in, on a different team, I kind of found myself thinking, you know, I think that something I want to do is head coach. I never really thought that I wanted to do it before. But, um, you know, I found myself, in, and it's no... Uh, it's nothing against any head coach I've ever worked for. You know, Derek Hicks was amazing at, at Sealings Grove. He taught me so many things. But, you know, I knew that in the future I wanted a team to be my own, where, you know, it, it can be mine and I can make it and I can, I can go through with my vision, and, you know, and have my mission of where I wanted my football team to be and that I can call the shots. And so um, when, you know, thankfully Coach Bennett's health is doing much better. I have so much respect for Coach Bennett. He coached me as well. Um, but, you know, when he left and when the stars started to kind of align, and I thought if there's no place that I'm more passionate about passionate about there's no place that I'd rather be there's no place that I'd rather be with the kids than Berwick and so um, when this opportunity came up I thought you know I really just have to go for it and so um, I never saw myself in this position I've, I've told people in the past oh you know I never want to be the head coach at Berwick because I kind of wanted to forge my own path but you know I figured in this in this short time that we have on this earth you know if there's one place that I truly am passionate about the football program the school the community it's right here in Berwick and so that's kind of the reason why I wanted to come back and, and take the reins here. Well, putting together your coaching staff, uh, you have a lot of familiar names from the past. Uh, Nick Dawson, Brian Remley, Jason Lanning, 
Uh, Bo Orlando and Dave Robbins will help when they can. Uh, tell us about a newcomer, though, your defensive coordinator, R.J. Hawes. Berwick people probably not familiar with him. They definitely are, and, and Coach Hawes has been amazing ever since he's been here. Now, Coach Hawes and I played against each other in high school. He we went to Pittston area, but we don't hold that against him here. <laughs> um, yeah, there's, there's a funny photo of Coach Hawes sacking me during our junior year game, but I tell we try to suppress that one a little bit, too. But, you know, Coach Hawes and I have kept in contact ever since high school. He went to Lycoming College. Um, played at Lycoming. He was a fullback and linebacker and then went on to coach at Williamsport. He coached through their junior high and, and he did his time to come up through the coaching ranks too. And so, you know, Coach Haas had a bunch of opportunities this offseason to go elsewhere to be, you know, considered as a head coach. You know, he, he's, a, he's a player's coach. He's high energy. He knows the game. He studies endlessly. Um, he probably leads our team in film watch. I mean, he, he's incredible and he's young as well. He has great relationships with kids, but, um, you know, just the way that he's interacted with our players and they absolutely love him and so we're so lucky to have coach Haas here and, and I've been able to trust the defense to him um, you know we've kind of worked together we have the same philosophy on a lot of things you know he does his best to get guys in the best positions we've changed some things around switched some guys up and and he makes that driving his commitment to Berwick is unbelievable um, he drives from Pittston where he lives with his wife every single day down here he's the last coach to leave the building he's one of the first coaches as you see always in the building and um, um, you know, I'm just so proud to have him. I'm so happy and lucky to have him. And so our relationship, when I got the job, you know, we started to connect again and brought him down for an interview and, and just get and more to just catch up because, you know, I knew all the respect and the knowledge that he has for football. But he really impressed me, and I knew that he was somebody that I wanted to have on our staff. One other assistant I didn't mention, Brandon George. That's the name will be familiar to Berwick people. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> Coach George has been awesome, too. You know, his son Aiden is on the team. He's a sophomore. Uh, Aiden plays linebacker, defensive line, fullback. He's a long snapper, just like his dad. And so, you know, Coach George brings so much to the table from a defensive line perspective and also from a special teams. And, you know, he did it here, and he's experienced championships here. So I thought it was important to keep guys in this room who have that championship pedigree and experience, who know what it takes to get to the big one and to win the big one. And so, you know, with Coach Robbins and Coach Lanning and Coach Remley and Coach George, I mean, there's a lot of rings in that in that uh, in the room right now. And so those guys know what it takes. And although it's a different type of kid and it's a different type of, and it's it's two decades later, whatever you want to say, three decades later. But you know, those guys still know what it takes, and so they're bought in on our philosophy and our vision to try to get back to that tradition. Well, up next, CJ will tell us about the 2024 Bulldogs that will take the field to open the season tonight here at Crispin Field. You're listening to the CJ Curry Show here on Pop Radio. It's the Mazda Find Out event going on now at WNL Mazda. Leave more in your wallet when you get in a 2024 Mazda CX-5 at WNL. Offering financing as low as 2.9%. Find out about the eight-passenger Mazda CX-90 with financing as low as 1.9% for 72 months. Explore beyond the pavement in a Mazda CX-50. Offering 1.9% financing for 72 months. See us off Route 11 in Northumberland and online at WNLMazda.com. Financing available to well-qualified applicants only. Offer cannot be combined with any other discounts or incentives other than loyalty or military offers. Offer ends 9-3-24. See WNL Mazda for complete offer details. When you've been sidelined by an injury, all you want is to get back in the game. Getting to the finish line starts with Lehigh Valley Orthopedic Institute, the region's leader in sports medicine. We use the most advanced technology for faster, better results, so elite and everyday athletes can compete like champions once again. Call 833-LV-Ortho. Lehigh Valley Orthopedic Institute. Your health deserves a partner. Stop. Don't make your next car payment. Instead, get a new vehicle at Alexander Family Buell GMC in Bloomsburg. Because right now, we're offering a 120% of Kelly Blue Book trade value buyback bonus up to $2,500. Just find the vehicle you want from our huge selection of new Buicks and GMCs and get 120% of KBB trade-in value for yours. It's the 120% of KBB buyback bonus event going on now at Alexander Family Buick GMC in Bloomsburg. The lowest price guaranteed. Berwick Dental Arts, 9th Street in Berwick, is proud to be keeping generations of beautiful smiles across Bulldog Nation. Dr. Susan Ermish, Dr. Nathaniel Fluke, and their staff practice general and restorative dentistry, and they're open Monday through Friday. Whether you need a simple cleaning or a complicated procedure, Berwick Dental Arts will see that you have the best smile so you can be your best. Berwick Dental Arts, 9th Street in Berwick, is a proud supporter of Berwick Bulldogs football. Visit their website at berwickdentalarts.com. Hey, hometown fans. 
You know Journey Bank as your trusted local bank. But did you know we're also the biggest cheerleader for our community's youth? From athletes competing under the Friday night lights, to students excelling in the classroom, to talented teen stars singing center stage, we're investing in the future of our young people. At Journey Bank, we're committed to helping our kids score big in every aspect of life. Journey Bank, where dreams are nurtured and futures are built. Journey Bank, proud supporter of our local youth. For over 50 years, you've trusted Overhead Door to provide the finest quality residential and commercial garage door products, installation, and service. With winter right around the corner, your garage doors need a tune-up. For only $99 for one or $125 for multiple doors, they'll check, lube, and adjust your garage doors and openers so they operate smoothly. Call for their seasonal tune-up special, Overhead Door of Berwick. They're more than just doors. See their five-star rating on their Google business page or visit ohdberwick.com. We're here at Ken Pollock in Berwick, and Ken is here with us. And Ken, you've been here for the last 10 years or so. Has Berwick welcomed you? Absolutely. I think we align perfectly as a group with the Berwick community. We're community-driven. We love servicing the people down here. We have great deals every day. Whatever stage in life you might be at, looking for a car for your kid, family, whatever it might be, we have a huge selection here. And whatever you have, bring it down, and we'll service it for you as well. Our people are very eager and very knowledgeable about the product that we do have. So we really want to help you out and make you a part of the Ken Pollock family. You're listening to the C.J. Curry Show on Pop Radio. Here with the first-year head coach of the Berwick Bulldogs is Jim Doyle. Lake Lehman will provide the opposition for tonight's season opener here at Crispin Field. It'll be the sixth meeting between the Bulldogs and Black Knights. Last one was back in 2020. A win for Lake Lehman, 29-21 was the final. C.J., before we talk specifically about your team, I know in the offseason... Your team, besides the usual weightlifting and seven-on-sevens and the conditioning and everything else, you did a lot of things in the community. Six or seven times your team was pictured in the Press Enterprise after having done something good, like uh, talking to uh, or reading to elementary students or cleaning up after uh, after storm damage ravaged the, the Berwick area. Why do that? What's your feeling behind that? We want our kids to be in the community as much as possible so that they can kind of develop a sense of, of togetherness with our community to try. And it's not to bring more fans here. You know, it's, it's not to try to get our stands packed. But I want our student athletes to be able to go out and to form legitimate connections to, and to get to know people. And so, um, you know, in the future, if they, if they cross paths again, they can say, oh, I know that kid. And not just because it was number 13 or number 7 or number 0 for Berwick. It's because that was a great kid. He helped me clean up my yard. That's a great kid. Oh, he read to my child in elementary school. You know, when you consider maybe a job or maybe um, a reference on an application or just to see him in town and just to, to know him for more than the player who he is on a Friday night. So we thought it was super important to get back in our community uh, and to give back and to do all the things that we can to be involved because, I mean, Berwick football is family and, and Berwick is family in general. And so, you know, with our small town, I think that that's something that we've gotten away from in the past, on uh, the past few years. And that's why, and that's the culture that we want to build here is to you know be great student athletes in school in their community and on the football field and so that was something big that we definitely wanted to do more of this offseason and i'm so proud of our guys because they loved it you know some people might think oh i have to give up three hours on a saturday morning but you know they came out 25 30 guys every single time without a complaint and they loved it they had a good time uh, it was a great team building experience and for them to get to know people in the community and and to make their community proud to know that you know we have their back and we hope that now in turn that they can have ours too on friday nights Let's talk football and start with uh, offense. Uh, returning from last year, you have uh, a line that has a lot of experience and a lot of size, and you have a number of wide receivers with tremendous speed. Those are two places that are good to start with, aren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. <laughs> no doubt, Mr. Doran. So, I mean, we're going to hang our hat on our offensive line. You know, combined, probably have close to 100 starts combined with all of our offensive linemen. You know, Chase Shucker is coming back, leading the charge. Um, a senior right tackle who's been a four-year starter. And then Gavin Jones, who's a senior at the center position. He has two years of starting experience now. Well, one, but this will be his second. Um, Matt Gordner and J.J. Leonard have started since they were freshmen. Draven Geiger got time last year. And Nico Lonzinski, um, had, he was very promising in the beginning of the um, the Southern Columbia game unfortunately hurt his shoulder, but he's worked endlessly to get back. And so we're going to hang our hat and we're going to try to establish our run game with our offensive line. And, you know, our, our offensive line are 
incredibly tough and intelligent guys. And so, um, you know, we're going to depend on them, especially with a young quarterback. But, you know, you talk about our receivers. I mean, Billy Hansen, he's been waiting for four years to kind of break out. And he showed a little bit of what he can do in the scrimmage when you get him the ball. I think he had four or five catches. I mean, just an unbelievable playmaker. He's an every down type of guy. He's a stud. You have Julian Howie, who's coming out for his first year. Incredible basketball player. He could jump, jump out of the gym and, you know, jump balls to him. There's a pretty good chance he's going to come down with it. He also has some pretty good speed. And then between Timer Wilkerson, Caleb May, Alex Estrella, freshman Gabe Decker, who can give us some time out there, a senior Braden Schaefer. Like we got guys that can play. And so, you know, it's just going to be able to, um, it's going to come down to getting those guys the ball in space and letting them go to work. And I'm super, um, Super encouraged by our, our skill positions and even some running backs that we have. You know, a time you're playing there and Caleb playing there a little bit. Uh, Sean Bank is a senior. Gavin Galusha, a sophomore by committee. You know, so we got we have playmakers on offense and a great offensive line. It's going to come down to our quarterbacks who are both going to be in their first year starting. So both of those guys have proven that they can play. Both of those guys have proven that they uh, can take care of the football. They can be leaders. They can be in command. They can limit mistakes and they can rally the troops when adversity hits. And so. With that being said, both of those guys are going to see time at quarterback. And, you know, to start, I wasn't a big fan of the two-quarterback system. Um, you know, I just really thought that it took guys out of out of their mojo and you couldn't get some momentum going with a certain guy. But So how we are going to do that is yet to be determined, but both of those guys are going to see time at quarterback. And those guys are? Jake Lisnock and Ashton Smith. So Ashton Smith is going to take our first reps tonight. Um, Ashton, he... He just came back from Votech this past year, um, you know, and, and everybody told Ashton that he wasn't good enough to play. He wasn't good enough to start at Votech. Everybody told him there's no re there's no reason why you know you should leave Votech and come back to your home school of Berwick because you're not going to play at Berwick. And Ashton has worked the hardest out of anybody that I've seen work this off season to get to where he is today. And the difference that he's made in his body and his technique, his throwing motion, and overall his charisma and leadership has earned him the starting reps tonight. But you know, Jake is just an unbelievably powerful player he's got an absolute rocket arm you know um he's incredibly strong you use both of them in our run and our pass game and so i'm super proud of how far both of those guys have come and you know with ashton being a junior and jake being a sophomore there's a lot of room to grow with those guys too we mentioned rj hawes earlier he is your defensive coordinator or what defense alignment does he prefer we both are fans of the 4-3, you know, and I think that we have uh, four solid defensive linemen, and, and with our defensive tackles, we have a pretty solid rotation to keep guys fresh. I think we have some very good edge guys, and we knew that for this defense to be successful, we had to have great defensive ends, kind of like the, the old school 5-2 Berwick days where you had to have two stud stand-up defensive ends to, to keep the edge, and that's kind of the same philosophy just in the 4-3 that we're going with right now, um, but I think that we have some very good defensive ends in Gabe Decker and Skyler Neville. Jake Lisnock, who's also the quarterback, is going to play some defensive end. Um, you, know, you have Chris Bowman, who's a junior, who's getting reps there. Um, now, th there's Julian Howie. There's a ton of guys that can play. J.J. Leonard, who's going to play some D-tackle and D-end. We have some guys that can play at that edge position, and, uh, and we're, we're very happy with our front four and our secondary right now. We're going to stay in a two-high shell and do some different things off of that. We have two great safeties in Alex Estrella and Tymir Wilkerson. Alex is like the quarterback of our defense. He knows everything. He gets guys into position, and we have two lockdown corners, I think, in Billy Hansen and Caleb May, who both have starting experience back there as well, and so um, great speed from our secondary, great athleticism from our secondary to all try to make our linebackers' lives a little bit easier because that's our most inexperienced position on the defensive side of the ball right now. So we have three linebackers, Rocco Romeo, Everett Snyder, Shiloh Escobar, and uh, Gavin Galusha will get some time there, and Aiden George is going to get some time at our strong linebacker as well. But uh, guys who don't have really any starting experience as varsity linebackers. And so, you know, we knew that that might be uh, at the start kind of a weakness. And I don't even want to say weakness because those guys have improved and worked so hard. But just to get those varsity reps and experience. And that's why, you know, the scrimmage this past Saturday was so important for those guys uh, to, to just kind of get a little bit more experience at that position. But um, we're, we're very, we're, Coach Haas and I are both very excited about where that linebacker group is going and, and how far they've come already. And so, you know, we're, we're excited about our defense. Well, tonight the Bulldogs open the season against Lake Lehman. Later in the show, CJ will tell us what he expects from the Black Knights. But up next, the Bulldogs spotlight feature. You're listening to the CJ Curry Show here on Pop Radio. 
stop. Don't make your next car payment. Instead, get a new vehicle at Alexander Family Buick GMC in Bloomsburg. Because right now, we're offering a 120% of Kelly Blue Book trade value buyback bonus up to $2,500. Just find the vehicle you want from our huge selection of new Buicks and GMCs and get 120% of KBB trade-in value for yours. It's the 120% of KBB buyback bonus event going on now at Alexander Family Buick GMC in Bloomsburg. The lowest price guaranteed. Hey, hometown fans. You know Journey Bank as your trusted local bank. But did you know we're also the biggest cheerleader for our community's youth? From athletes competing under the Friday night lights, to students excelling in the classroom, to talented teen stars singing center stage, we're investing in the future of our young people. At Journey Bank, we're committed to helping our kids score big in every aspect of life. Journey Bank, where dreams are nurtured and futures are built. Journey Bank, proud supporter of our local youth. The Mayo Funeral Homes, located at 110 Chestnut Street in Berwick and 77 Main Street in Chicxinny, are proud sponsors of Berwick Bulldog Football. The Mayo Funeral Homes, serving all faiths, makes it easier for those you love with prearranged funeral counseling, insurance, and pre-financed funerals. Mayo Funeral Homes also offers expert guidance in both traditional and cremation services. Mayo Funeral Homes, perfection in every detail. It's the Mazda Find Out event going on now at WNL Mazda. Leave more in your wallet when you get in a 2024 Mazda CX-5 at WNL. Offering financing as low as 2.9%. Find out about the 8-passenger Mazda CX-90 with financing as low as 1.9% for 72 months. Explore beyond the pavement in a Mazda CX-50. Offering 1.9% financing for 72 months. See us off Route 11 in Northumberland and online at WNLMazda.com. Financing available to well-qualified applicants only. Offer cannot be combined with any other discounts or incentives other than loyalty or military offers. Offer ends 9-3-24. See WNL Mazda for complete offer details. When you've been sidelined by an injury, all you want is to get back in the game. Getting to the finish line starts with Lehigh Valley Orthopedic Institute, the region's leader in sports medicine. We use the most advanced technology for faster, better results, so elite and everyday athletes can compete like champions once again. Call 833-LV-Ortho. Lehigh Valley Orthopedic Institute. Your health deserves a partner. Berwick Dental Arts, 9th Street in Berwick, is proud to be keeping generations of beautiful smiles across Bulldog Nation. Dr. Susan Ermish, Dr. Nathaniel Fluke, and their staff practice general and restorative dentistry, and they're open Monday through Friday. Whether you need a simple cleaning or a complicated procedure, Berwick Dental Arts will see that you have the best smile so you can be your best. Berwick Dental Arts, 9th Street in Berwick, is a proud supporter of Berwick Bulldogs football. Visit their website at berwickdentalarts.com. Ken Pollock in Berwick, and Ken is here with us. And Ken, you've been here for the last 10 years or so. Has Berwick welcomed you? Absolutely. I think we align perfectly as a group with the Berwick community. We're community-driven. We love servicing the people down here. We have great deals every day. Whatever stage in life you might be at, looking for a car for your kid, family, whatever it might be, we have a huge selection here. And whatever you have, bring it down, and we'll service it for you as well. Our people are very eager and very knowledgeable about the product that we do have, so we really want to help you out and make you a part of the Ken Pollock family. You're listening to the C.J. Curry Show on Pop Radio. Here with the first-year head coach of the Berwick Bulldogs is Jim Doyle. The 2024 season kicks off tonight. Here at Crispin Field, the Bulldogs take on Lake Lehman. We'll evaluate the Black Knights in our next segment, but now it's time for what will be a weekly feature all season long, Bulldog Spotlight. Tonight, the spotlight is on senior Billy Hansen. Billy's listed as 6'1", 175. He figures to help the Bulldogs in both offense and defense. CJ, let's start with the tangibles. What does Billy have as far as speed and strength and so on? Billy's got it all. And Billy really is. You know, I want to start off by saying when I first started teaching at Berwick, Billy was the first class of students that I had as an eighth grader. So I've had a relationship with Billy now for um, going on five, six years. And, and, and Billy's one of the most incredible athletes that I've ever seen. He was close to dunking the basketball as an eighth grader. He was an unbelievable football player as an eighth grader. And, you know, his speed, I mean, he's right around a four, six, five. Um, he just had a 225 pound bench and power clean. So he's got the uh, explosiveness, he's got the speed, he's got the athleticism, he's got great hands, and Billy's got leadership capabilities that, that I've been waiting to see him bring out since he was a freshman. And, you know, when I wasn't a coach, I would always kind of take a step back and, and not coach in varsity and even help one out when I would keep the book in basketball and just tell Billy, you know, everybody goes how you go, Billy. And when you hang your head and when, and when you have 
off games that people go how you go but but billy when, when you talk people listen and and, and you're you're a trusted and respected voice in any locker room that you're in and i think that that's what billy's brought to the table for us thus far and when billy talks people listen and i'm so proud of how far billy's come and you know billy's ready to explode this season i believe and, and like you mentioned he's an every down type of guy um he's an unbelievable defensive back he had a pick six had a great jump on a route in the scrimmage um he led our team in receptions in the scrimmage and, and he's a competitor he loves to compete. He's fierce. He plays with passion. He plays with emotion. Sometimes a little bit too much. We have to reel him in a little bit. But I, I, I love the way that Billy plays. I love the way that Billy prepares and handles himself. You know, he's usually the first one here, and he's doing his warm-ups, and he's getting extra catches on the jugs machine. and He's doing everything that he needs to do to be successful. And so um, I, I love everything that Billy's about, and he's going to be a huge part of our team this year. In tonight's Bulldog Spotlight, Billy Hansen. Billy and his Bulldog teammates take on Lake Lehman in the season opener here at Crispin Field. Up next, C.J. will tell us what he expects from the Black Knights offense. You're listening to the C.J. Curry Show here on Pop Radio. Jim Doyle and the Berwick Bulldogs head coach C.J. Curry brought to you by Overhead Door of Berwick, Berwick Notary, State Farm Insurance, Sean Black and Lori Powell, First Keystone Community Bank, The Willows Golf Course, Journey Bank, Flick Brothers Electric in Bloomsburg, Blaze Alexander Family Buick GMC of Bloomsburg, Berwick Dental Arts, WNL Subaru Nissan and Mazda, Reds Roofing, Preferred Portables, Nespoli Jewelers, Neighborhood Fence, Ken Pollock Ford, Mayo Funeral Home, ND Accounting and consulting and Mason's monogram service. You'll only find the CJ Curry show on Pop Radio and streaming online at thisispopradio.com. You're listening to the CJ Curry show on Pop Radio. Here with the first year head coach of the Berwick Bulldogs is Jim Doyle. Crispin Field, home to Berwick football since 1929, is the venue for tonight's season opener as the Bulldogs take on the Black Knights of Lake Lehman. Jerry Gilski starting his 15th season as head coach. 10 of his previous seasons his teams had winning records, but last year, Black Knights were 2-9, and nine, the worst season in his career. The good news, they had only seven seniors on that team. They have 50 players on the roster, the most in Gilski's time at Lake Lehman. And by all accounts, they look good in their try scrimmage against Pittston area and Lackawanna Trail. CJ, according to your dad, who scouted that uh, scrimmage, and look at, I'm sure, a tape from last year's Lake Lehman games, what... What do you expect them to do in offense? How will they look? How will they line up? They looked incredible when they were in that scrimmage, and they were a totally different team than, than we looked at on film from last year. We had a couple games that we broke down from them last year um, against Pittston area, against Tunkanic, against Western Wayne. And, and, you know, you start with their Western Wayne game last year in the, in the district playoffs, and they lost by six points to an eight-win Western Wayne team. And um, it, it was, by all means, I think their best game that they played all season. They probably should have won that football game I think that they outplayed Western Wayne in that game and so you know you take their momentum coming off that and the fact that they should be confident in the fact that they came off after a playoff loss to an eight win team by a touchdown and they bring back nine starters on offense and eight starters on defense um, and with the way that they looked in the scrimmage you know they play fast they play physical they play intense and they play for each other you know I'm talking to my dad who scouted them you know you can see whatever you want to on tape but I think it's important to have a person there to see like or is there infighting is there guys who you know are, are kind of head cases are there guys who are divas on the team and there was none of that with those guys you know and, and just kind of looking at their roster and the guys that they bring back they have playmakers all over the field they have tough kids they have strong kids um, and you know I think that um, those guys playing together they have very high hopes for this season and so you know it's not going to be an easy game whatsoever our guys have to be locked in tonight for us to do what we want to do the goal is to go one and oh you know so is theirs and so um it's, it's going to be a dog fight tonight i believe hayden evans is their starting quarterback he's a returner from last year uh good size he's got to be a concern hayden's a great player you know watching hayden on film um, and he's very mobile in the pocket. You know, he's six foot three, two hundred five. I mean, the, the kid can move. The kid doesn't get sacked. He's tough to bring down. He's got a great ball. I mean, um, 
when, when he throws the ball up to Chris Schultes, Schultes comes down with it almost every single time he's throwing the ball up. And so, you know, that's a concern for us for sure. They have a slightly different offense than we thought. You know, they were kind of vanilla last year in their approach and just kind of being um, in a pro and a slot and a lot of the stuff that we saw. They would spread it out a little bit, but now there's a ton of jet sweep, a ton of misdirection. You know, we have to be disciplined um, off of that. They have their waggles and they have just their deep balls to their stud players. And so, um, you know, a lot of the things that they do well are things defensively that we've struggled with this preseason and so um, you know, this week of practice was huge for us to get better with those things that they do well so that we can be prepared for this high powered offense because you know with nine starters back and you know four or five offensive linemen back that they have and, and, and a quarterback coming back their best receiver who missed some time with injury but I mean the kid's an absolute stud and then you look at Ben Dowling their their six foot three six foot four tight end who can also play wide receiver he can go up and get it and he's super physical um, you know the running back Gavin Shoemaker he it, the first guy doesn't usually bring him down. He's a tough runner. And, you know, Lake Lehman's traditionally has tough kids. And, you know, Coach Gilski does a great job with them. They're bought into his system, as you said. I mean, he's got 50 guys on the roster, which is you know, relatively tough for a, a school like Lake Lehman. But they're bought into his system. And, you know, they play hard for him. They play hard for each other, which is the biggest thing. And they play as brothers. And so, you know, we know that we have our hands full with those guys tonight. Well, up next, CJ will evaluate Lake Lehman's defense. You're listening to the C.J. Curry Show here on Pop Radio. You're listening to the C.J. Curry Show on Pop Radio. Here with the first-year head coach of the Berwick Bulldogs is Jim Doyle. This season, Berwick will be in Division Two of the Wyoming Valley Conference, which includes Lake Lehman. This season, the Bulldogs will be in District 2 AAA, so will Lake Lehman. So tonight's game, besides being an opener and a table setter, very important for both teams. Uh, C.J., Coach Gilski, says uh, his team will line up with a 4-4 or 4-3 defense, depending on of the situation. Is that what you see? That's what we saw on film. Yes, they played some 4-4 against Lackawanna Trail, who runs that wing tee. So I think that, you know, when we pack it in in our 21 or 22 personnel, we're going to see that 4-4. And when we try to spread it out a little bit, either in our 11 or 10 personnel, they're going to go with that 4-3. And they, they do those things extremely well. And, you know, once again, they have most other guys back returning from last season who are bigger, faster, stronger, more physical. Um, you know, with, with Evans back at free safety, who's a ball hawk, um, you know, Schultes, who, who's back at, at linebacker, strong safety, and Shoemaker, who's, when he blitzes, you know, he's bringing it. And some big defensive linemen that are coming back, and, and Dowling, who's going to play the edge. It's tough to get the edge on him. And so, you know, we know that, that our, our quarterbacks and our offensive line have to be cognizant of what they come out in so that we can get our other protections or, or our run um, our run blocking schemes down uh, and quickly when we get to the line of scrimmage. So, you know, we did see that on film against Pittston. They played in the scrimmage a little bit more of the four or three exclusively. But, you know, once again, we know that they're not going to show everything in that scrimmage. And so they didn't blitz really at all. Um, so, you know, we have to be prepared for blitz. Uh, and, and last year they showed that quite a bit and they showed guys bluffing and then and bailing and, and their linebackers. So our quarterbacks have to be aware of that, which we've practiced this week, uh, you know, a, a lot during our practices. And so, um, they do things very well on defense. I think that they're disciplined, um, and I think that Coach Gilski is going to Coach Gilski is going to have those guys ready to go um, for for the things that they saw with us on film as well. You know, they played with that kind of loose. Um, too high shell, what looked like quarters or a loose man during the scrimmage. But, you know, for how many times that we threw the five-yard hitch in the scrimmage, I expect those guys to tighten down a little bit so our quarterbacks have to be prepared for that as well. Back in your day, you played under the Friday Night Lights Crispin Field, but this will be the first time you come out as a head coach. Will you be nervous? I think there'll always be some nerves there. You know, one of those things that, you know, if you if you don't have butterflies, then, then you're in the wrong sport. I think that those butterflies will be there. But as far as nervous goes, you know, I think that with our preparation, you know, which we touched on before, I think that, you know, we, we've crossed all the all the T's and dotted all the I's. And so um, I think that we'll be, that we're prepared with our game plan and what we want to do. And so it's just going to be those, you know, when you walk out of that locker room and tap the wind sign and, and you'll start walking across and you hopefully have a great crowd here with all the fireworks going off it's going to be surreal and it's going to take me back to this 10 short years ago and the last time I was on this field was a play and was a district championship win against Abington Heights in my senior year and now you know just 10 short years later it seems like it flew by and you know now you're back and and, and walking across leading the dogs again and so I'm super excited I want to take all that in and you know I think we'll be ready to go I'm more excited than nervous for sure thanks so much for your time good luck tonight we'll see you next week thank you very much Mr. Doyle <laughs> 
Listen for another C.J. Curry show prior to next Friday's game at Mid-Valley. Stay tuned now for Lake Lehman at Berwick Football here on Pop Radio.